Hey everyone, and welcome back. Okay, so I didn't get too far in the first part, we just did the intro, so we're off the first planet, the uh, Bracca. And yeah, we're on the ship now. We've just been rescued by uh, the other two guys, the, the, the woman and the thing with four arms. I don't know what species he is. If you guys could leave a like, leave a comment, and hit that subscribe button, that would be great, grand, amazing, perfect. Oh, all of the above. Okay, let's uh, let's walk. I like the way he strides in this. I like the way he walks. He walks with like a man with a purpose. Look at him. Yeah, you'd you'd get out of the way if this guy was walking towards you, like this. Yeah, uh, let's do some investigating. If there's any investigating to be done. Ah, what's this? Some kind of guitar. object and witness events connected to it. You feel its history. It's an echo in the force from the object. Not many Jedi have that skill. How would you know that? I was once a Jedi, but not anymore. Do I know you? No, but I knew your master, Jaro Tapal. He was a true guardian of the Republic was a hero. Listen. Something happened to me during the purge. I survived, but my connection to the Force is damaged. When I meditate, if I let my guard down, I lose control. And it's like I'm back in that moment when... You survived, Cal. And you're not alone. Not anymore. We'll come up on our destination. Look how fluffy his, his hair is. It's always moving, even though he's like... He's not. Even though he's standing still. It's always like, flapping around. <coughs> it's weird. But that's what, uh... Motion capture gets you, maybe. Or possibly. I don't know. This is Bagana. A Jedi I knew discovered it before the Purge. You won't find it on any maps. The Empire doesn't know this place exists? No. So? What's the plan? Will you hide out here? We're done hiding, Cal. See that structure over there? I believe that vault holds the key to rebuilding the Jedi Order. But it requires someone strong in the Force to pass its test. And since you're not a Jedi anymore, that's why you need me. I know you don't trust me. And I'm not really sure I trust you. But we have a common enemy. And a common cause. I'll share more of my plan after you reach the vault. But, until then, there's someone here I think you should meet. May the Force be with you. Guess I'm looking for a Jedi then. But if there's already one here, why does Seer need me? Okay, let's go exploring. Yeah, those little um, boggling things uh, jumping into the ground. They're actually in Episode 9, I think, uh, The Rise of Skywalker. One of them is underneath a chair or something. In one of the scenes, and they go to a cantina. It, I, I've only seen the film once, and once was enough. But I, I swear, yeah, there's one like hiding underneath, so it's sort of like a reference to this game. 
because this game came out like a safe place to meditate. just around a month need to prior to um, Rise of Skywalker. Alright, so this is the uh, Dark Souls element of the game. You get a little uh, rest point where you meditate, all the bad guys come back, and so on. And you get a little skill tree where you can buy new things. Don't think that's in uh, Dark Souls, though. Hey, BD-1. I'm Cal. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just I'm looking for someone. No, not you. I'm searching for a, a Jedi, I think. Hold on. Y you know the Jedi? What do you know? Wait, hold on! Did you just slice that? Thanks. Hey, I found a nice little droid. Cool. I think every Star Wars thing... That's the vault Seer mentioned. All right, whatever. Whoever I'm supposed to find must be waiting. Kinda there. needs a droid as a companion, or just a droid in general. Uh -huh. Reach the vault. Uh, okay. Uh, look at that. It's another tutorial segment. Uh, zoom in out. Rotate. Move. Ugh. <laughs> ah, what's down here? Any ideas? Gotta get across this gap somehow. Is it fine? Whoa! How'd you know that would work? Wait, you didn't? Careful over there! That doesn't look safe. Yeah, nothing like a droid Just playing fast and loose with your life. So how do you know that would work? Oh, you didn't. Fair enough. You could have died. Hold on, everyone! I'm coming! Nice. A little bit of a lightsaber spin there. Whoever lived here used this room for storage. They kept food and supplies. I would say as well that's also a new power when you when you stop stuff. But uh, that was actually introduced in uh, Force Awakens, I think. That was like the first thing, the first time you see that kind of power. Well, you haven't seen before, I don't think. Unless it's in one of the comics, is that whole that pretty brave. Force Echo okay? Sense ability he has. Wait, I can help you with that. Will you let me? Oh, <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well. The scomp link is busted, but this should help you get moving for now. Okay, try that. The vault? Yeah, that's where I was headed too. Okay, well, first we've got to figure out a way out of this place. I don't know, actually, now that I think about it. Didn't, uh, in The Force Awakens, didn't Rey pick up Obi-Wan's lightsaber and have some kind of weird, uh, BD, um, that's a little small for me. flashback? Don't worry, I'll find my own way out. To, like, the history of the lightsaber. I think that happened. Tight but fit, but this should work. Ah! <sighs> <sighs> 
I'm all right. <clears throat> Healing stem. They're full of surprises. <clears throat> That's better. Thanks, little droid. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, uh. He's humping okay. my leg. <laughs> Here, hop on board. Uh, right. Yeah. What what this game's kind of missing actually is so, a. How'd you get here? Full door mode, I think. Don't remember? I've never known a forgetful droid. Can't argue with that. Ah, collectible. Got to collect chest. them all. Think Collectibles. Think the Jedi would mind if we grab supplies? Where are you going? Did you find something, BD1? All right, so yeah, you can customize your lightsaber as well, like bits and parts and so on, which is weird because, like, it 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 doesn't really do anything like when you customize it. There's no like, it's just it's just the different look, you know. It's just purely aesthetic. Same with like clothing, uh, which again I'm fine with, sort of I suppose. They could have gone the whole darks, um, the dark souls a bit more I guess, and have different bits of clothing give you different uh, points in health and so on, which is probably what they'll do in the sequel I think. Um, when they make us, whenever That's they make a sequel of this. I can feel it. Also, uh, the different bits of clothing are just different color schemes. There's still this general outfit just different colors and there's no like jackets or robes or anything uh there's a, like there's this outfit and there's also the shawl like uh they're called poncho things you wear and there's just this relatively different kind of ponchos i guess but different and different color schemes and that's it which i was kind of disappointed on if they were going to add customization they should just really have gone all out with it mapped everywhere we've been. I can't make it over there. We gotta find another way. Uh huh. I just do a jump now, do I? Here we go! Hey, I made it. Nice. Usually I'm dangling over the edge trying to like climb up. That's a really big bug. <laughs> yep, scan it. Good job. It's called a Splocks. Nice. Nice name. What's that thing? Oh god. Can you slice this? Sorry about your scalping, but standing up to that bog rat, pretty brave. What did I get? New lightsaber sleeve. Nice. One, where's this go? Ah, this goes back around. Alright. Hmm. What was the point in me coming here again? Okay, wait, let me jump back up. Really need a stem. Ooh, wait, hang on. Ah, there we go. Nope. Okay, uh, I need to go down. That's what I need to do. But how the hell do I get down there? 
That was a bit of a wasted stim pack right there. Well done. Someone made camp here. They were excited to discover a giant creature that lives close by. A binog, they called it. Ah, uh, how the hell do I get down there? If I'm even meant to be down there, I don't know. Oh, I see. Oh yeah. Kick ass. Come back here. So what was in there? Huh. That's kind of a dick move, I guess, to attack from behind, but who cares? Yes. Okay, uh, oh shit. Oh, come on. Hmm. No, yeah, I, I, I'll have to bear in mind that there is a... It's called a bridge. I know that. Oh? I can't get it to work. Yeah, thanks for letting me know. Uh, hmm. Maybe I have to get past this thing. No, oh, don't attack me. Don't kill me, please. Thank you. Yeah, I have to remember there's a crate back there I can't get to. Because of, you know... Uh, reasons. Yeah, I need a sort of double jump to get up there, don't I? Oh, oh shit. Ooh, I chopped that one in half. Nasty. Oh? Find. Nope. Need to go to the other side, maybe? Yeah, there you go. No. Oh god. Oh, come on! How many of these things do I have to kill? These things are going to be extinct by the time I leave this planet. That's not very Jedi of me. something in there? Yeah, this doesn't look creepy at all. Try again. It's difficult, Master. Yes, the path is difficult may seem impossible, but with persistence and the Force as your ally, you will overcome any obstacle. You will master any path. Now, do what you must to reach me. Alright, shall do. Good. Again. Now, reach my position. Oh, okay. 
Hey, Wolf Run. I did it. Persistence and the Force is my ally. Just remembering old tricks. And Think you can show yeah. me that shortcut again? There you go. That's opened up now. Cool. And oh, no, oh, shit. No, oh, wait. Uh. Collectible. This area was used for meditation by someone familiar with the Jedi Order. Ah, uh, you can't really do this. Can you? Oh, sugar. Ah, right, never mind. Yeah, you can't really go backwards. But ah, uh, what's happening now? Come on. There you go. Yeah, sometimes the game can be a bit uh, gimmicky. Oh, gimmicky, but you're know, finicky sort of thing. Like not all the uh, controls and mechanisms, etc., will work properly. And looky here, a wall run example, just so we can, you know, test it out. They're just gonna throw wall run, like wall runs at us now. Ah, look, cool. Just what I wanted. Hey, what was in there? Ah, and I have to go back up there now. Okay. Let's do this. And all the creatures are back. Ah, oh, god damn it. This game really likes to mess with me. That was a very sort of, well, not smart thing to do, but uh, for time's sake, I'm just gonna try and get past this and get to the uh, temple. Racy there? Oh, it's on! Hey, that's not fair. He started. Okay, you give up. We're not finished yet. Okay, okay, he probably would have won. Yeah, he would have. Probably. He's a droid. He was a droid and he was, you know, determined to beat me then. See the way he was running? Yeah, this doesn't Amazing. seem like a great uh, Jedi sort of temple. Well, it's not even a Jedi temple, is it? Uh, it's like an old sort of... Uh, long to like an older race or something. So yeah, it makes sense why the entrance would be, well, that. But I think that's like uh, caved in though, isn't it? Or something? Hey, BD-1! I can't tell. I think it's meant to have caved in, maybe. Who knows? Oh? You all right, BD? Well done, whoever you are. You have passed the test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Ino Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this... Vault is a sacred temple. 
built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zephyr once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zephyr homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the Force be with you. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. You know, I've been alone for no, without any purpose, just hiding. There's no way to live, not for a Jedi or a droid. Maybe Seer was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Hey, you want to meet some, uh, Friends of mine. The red, we got a companion. A red. <laughs> Again, because we've got a destination. I mustn't say a red to everything that happens now. I think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. Now, yep, I'm not fighting this three-eyed freak. Because that is almost certainly, at this point, a battle I would not win. Oh, I might win, but I'd have next to no health uh, whatsoever. Uh-oh, what's down here? Okay. sealed. That's for later on, maybe. My friend, it appears the Zepho had some interest in Dathomir. Strange. For such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Yeah, Dathomir, for anyone who is not aware, is actually where um, Darth Maul came from. That's like a, a, a species homeworld. Should be a lot quicker than the way in. Uh, yeah, it's also featured. Dathomir is also uh, featured somewhat in uh, Star Wars Clone Wars and probably a bunch of other stuff as well. Because there's like the Night Sisters and so on. Who are like this uh, cult that use the Force to raise the dead and do voodoo stuff. Oh, what happened? What? Ah. Oh. Come on, really? There we go. Ah, boglings. What's he seen? 
Oh, I think he's scanning them. A boggling oh, tunnel. Wait, is he walking? Okay. That's uh, that's scripted. You passed the test. That explains that. So you knew about BD1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? <laughs> get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! No! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of petroleum fabric? Not really. Oh. I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Breeze. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of Force-sensitive children. <sighs> the next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A holo what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force Sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zepho homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Dathomir is Zepho. It's your choice. Dathomir or Zepho? I'm probably going to choose Zepho. Mm, yeah, Zepho. Uh, and I'm actually going to call it a day here. Uh, also, um, in regards to that little uh, message we got from Obi-Wan, that little holocron thing, it uh, that full message is, can actually be seen on the first episode of Star Wars Rebels, towards the end. Because that's the message he's meant to have sent out at the end of, well, the midpoint of Revenge of the Sith. Uh, when they storm him and the Order storm into the Jedi Temple. Anyway, I am going to call it a day. Hope you've all enjoyed this uh, part. Hope you've all enjoyed the commentary, etc., etc. And, you know, there's been some interesting tidbits here and there, hopefully. Uh, a lot more to come. If you could leave a like, comment, and subscribe, that would be perfect. And wait for the end screen. You'll get two suggestions for stuff on my channel that you might take a vague or very big interest in. For now, though... That's all there is, so until the next time, do look after yourself, do take care, and I look forward to seeing you then. Ta-da!